What is up guys, Logan here again. Let's talk about some of the stocks that we've been seeing a lot of volume on, a lot of the stocks that people have been wanting answers on, and that would be a lot of the cannabis and pot stocks. So let's start by talking about GRWG, which is by far my favorite one right now and as of now, and I think will continue to be just because of how good the chart looks. Now if you look at the 180 day EMA, as you guys can see right here, we've stayed steady above it. We bounced off of it a couple times, and the EMA, especially the 180 day one, is a great indicator on when a stock's gonna move. So if you're if a stock's trading above the EMA, that's a good sign of bullishness. So if we zoom in, as you guys can see, we dipped below it a little bit, but right when we mounted it over here, which was on Monday, green candle, we decided to continue to trade above it with a large influx on Thursday and even more volume on Friday. So that's one thing that we should check out. So let's hop into the five day, five minute chart for this and take a look at them. So as you guys can see, they gapped up overnight again from Wednesday into Thursday and they continue to trade above the VWAP on Thursday. A super strong indicator is when the VWAP and the EMA are beneath where the stock's currently trading. So that's when a great time to take positions is, is right around here, this little spike in the morning you know, even though you got a little bit of red, you still have the view up there to support you because that's not a big deal, right? You get a little bit of red at 2056 and it drops to, you know, 2030 and then you can take your stop loss. So it's really not that big of a deal if that is to fall through and show some weakness and you could always wait to re-enter. But I think the reward is higher than the risk in this position. So you could enter here and continue to ride this stock all the way through the day and be patient with it and decide to take profits when you want to or swing it into Friday, which you can do and they had even crazier of a run up. So let's look at the Friday chart on Grow. So I really like this chart and it's kind of funny to think about, but we had a huge bearish signal falling through the VWAP and the EMA within 10 minutes of open. Had a lot of people fearful that we were going to continue to sell down throughout the rest of the day, maybe drop below 20, you know, after they broke underneath 22. But we got a little bit more volume influx, especially right here, as you guys can see, this green candle, and then everybody follows, like this VWAP pattern. So when the stock breaks through the VWAP, mounts it, you can ride that thing up a dollar, right? And that's a big deal in options, and even when you're trading shares too. And then right here, we got more sell action, as you guys can see, the volume increased right around the VWAP. Right when it falls through, you'll see the people come in, secure profits. So that's another great indicator. And then we even got lower than the EMA, started to come back up and continue to consolidate through the rest of the day. So I'm curious to see what kind of action we get, but I think these stocks follow the charts really well. And it was something I was watching throughout the week since we had so much movement on them. So I think it's something we should continue to watch. Now let's look at another one that I really like, which is Canopy Growth. So if we look CGC up, they are right here. Now with Canopy, I really like them just because they've been in the game for a long time in the cannabis industry. Now if we, we could even zoom back even further, you know, like we could hit the uh, three-year chart and they were really up there for a little bit. Then they fell through the EMA and they finally, finally found their way above it in the three-year one. But let's look at the 180-day rail real quick. And we've been showing some strength over it for about a month now, which is a good indicator that stocks are about to move, right? So just like back here. Back in May, above the EMA, we got that green candle mounted and we took off to the moon. I mean, that's a big movement. $15 to 24 is a really solid movement. Same thing we happened going on here. Look at this volume influx too. Craziest volume that this company has seen in a long time. So as we can see right here, green candle taken off, another green candle. And that just shows more strength, staying above the EMA, even when we have been close to touching it, it really hasn't impacted it too much to where we've fallen through, which would be showing signs of a bearish pattern on the stock. So let's also look at the five day, five minute, which is my favorite, which you guys already know. So let's hop right into Friday, because I think this is a really, really huge pattern. Now we had a little bit of consolidation in the morning, people couldn't really figure out the way the market was gonna go, which I don't blame them, it's a Friday, but we got a large influx of volume. And this thing was above the EMA and the VWAP, so I think it's a great time to make an entry. And I always make my entry point, like I said, on the second green candle that I see above the VWAP, 
just in case we have a reversal again, like we see here, where maybe you entered in the morning and then saw it fall through the VWAP. So that's what I like to see because, like I said, about in the third candle, second to third candle after the mount, you'll see that you don't have very much room away from the VWAP to where if you had to take a stop loss, you're not losing very much, but there's a lot more upside. The reward is way better than the risk, just like in the last one we looked at. And then you can secure your profits. Anytime the volume's still coming in, it's a great indicator to hold. And then once it starts to lose traction, right, and you start to see red and a lot of volume, that's a good indicator to get out of that play, which a lot of people did right before the VWAP. And they bounced off of it again, which in this point, I wouldn't be playing them anymore. Just the volume, when a volume gets low, it's really an indicator of more bearishness to come because there's investors who maybe got in here, were excited here, and now they just want to get back out for break even. And then that can lead to a sell-off. And then we just kind of saw them consolidate the rest of the day and of course into after hours. So I like those stocks a lot. And then we can also talk about Aurora Cannabis, which is another nice one. Now this is a Canadian company. Their earnings are coming out soon. So we will continue to watch them. But I'd like to honestly make a play on them because they moved the same way that Canopy did. So I think that's really cool. You know, they had a lot of big volume influx and then big sell. I mean, the chart's literally identical. It's really crazy to think about. So if you don't have as much capital to play Canopy, you can play Aurora and get the same results. Um, that their Thursday and Friday had where they had that gap up from Thursday into Friday and another gap up there so glad we could touch on these stocks now let me talk about some other stocks that I'll be watching for the week now this one is Zoom I think Zoom's got a lot of room to the upside I really like Zoom here now let's look at the 180 day so this is what's really cool we remounted the ema and this is a big indicator for me on bullishness now look at the last time we were above the ema of course this was earnings play but since they've been trading above it they show a lot of bullishness and since we fell through it i think this is a great time to take a position especially if we zoom in i mean the ema is at 491 so let's say you do take a position here and you do fall through and you bought shares maybe to mitigate risk right um, let's say it does fall through, you can just get stopped out at the EMA and you lose $10 a share. So let's say you bought 10 Zoom shares to try to make 30 on each of them and you go down 10 times 10, it's only 100 bucks. So not the biggest deal in the world. I like this mount on the EMA and I think we have more bullishness to come with Zoom. And I will of course alert the Discord if I do take a position on it. But let's also look at the shorter term stuff which is the 5 day 5 minute charts. And we can just kind of see how they traded. Of course, Fridays always are wacky, in my opinion, recently with the, a lot of froggy Fridays. But throughout the day, I mean, Zoom's a big mover. You can see the volume come in and out on this thing. Even when it's low, the stock will move a couple dollars in a direction. So you got to be really careful and really stick to your charts because even here, mount the VWAP goes up. You can make your entry. As long as it stays above the VWAP, you're generally safe. But if it does fall through, and especially if the EMA doesn't support it, you'll see a lot of signs of weakness. So that's what we also see here, but this is more consolidation. So that's how I use the charts in my favor, especially with the 180 day for looking at the EMA with that little mount. I think we have a lot of room and a lot of upside, which I think we could shoot to like the 540s range again from where we are. Now it's just a matter of time of when do you make the entry, how long do you hold it, and what will market conditions give us, right? Because that's the one thing we also have to look into when we're trading. So that's the other stock I'm watching very close this week. And two others, so the first one after Zoom would be BABA, just because of the insane volatility on it. And we're back to the EMA. So we're going to watch that stock too, like back here. If we can get another mount on it, we could see a lot of action. Now, of course, this was these were earnings sell-offs um, that people had taken, and they both rallied really quickly back to where they were, and I think Baba's a really good stock. They have some catalysts coming up. So, like their cloud service, so let's zoom in, and we'll check this guy out again. So we played Baba on Thursday, and we scalped it really quick right over here. It was towards... Let me zoom in so I can get the exact exact thing that we're looking for because this was Thursday. So yeah, we played Baba. It was actually earlier in the morning. That's right. So it was around here that we actually played Baba 
and I grabbed it right when it mounted the VWAP and I scalped it really really quickly let me zoom in a little bit more so I even grabbed it right on this mount and I scalped it wrote it from 285 to 286 yeah, right at the, so, oh, it's 284.62, that's right, that's when I made the entry. Wrote it up to 286, and then cashed out here, and then it proceeded to consolidate again, and we got more volume, another mount on the VWAP, and it proceeded to trade up. Now, the only reason that I wasn't too fond of my play here was because the VWAP was underneath the EMA on this day, so I really am cautious, especially since the rest of the day traded under the VWAP. So making an entry here was a little riskier which I also alerted the members. I said that's a risky play because we've been showing signs of bearishness. We could easily get shut down and fall back to the 280s range. But we did mount it and I got in and out right here on this play. So that was a nice little scalp trade there. So that's kind of my outlook for BABA that I really like is just using this 180 day chart helps me with the EMA. Just kind of see how the stock's moving and we have seen some really crazy stuff recently. So. Stay safe out there if you're trading this, if you're trading uh, BABA. So then the last stock that I want to talk about is Netflix. I want to hop into that too, just because we're seeing it again. We're getting some trading above the EMA again. So I'm excited to see what we got in store for Netflix. And we haven't really had too much of an influx in volume, but every time that we start to trade even a little bit over the EMA, like we've gotten back here, which is just the end of September, you know, we got a little bit of a rally within the next week or two. So we're going to watch Netflix as well this week, guys. And I just want to let you guys know that we have found a couple resistance points that I think I see right here, um, right around this area. So if we can break this, I think we have some room to the upside. So I'm just really excited to see um, how Netflix continues to trade, but I'm seeing some strength here. And then we can also jump into the five day five minutes, just so I can show you guys the charts and what I'm seeing. Of course, Fridays are always weird, but we can look at Thursday, mounted the VWAP, and you get a big buyer's candle, and you can literally just enter right at 9.30, like right in the morning, well this is 9.45, and ride that thing up, and that will... I mean, if you have a good delta on a contract, 507 to 511 could be $200. And then you could cash out and say you're done for the day after 5 to 10 minutes of trading. I liked it here. Like I said, it's above the EMA. It's above the VWAP. So this is a great strategy to use. And as you guys can see here, it also proceeded to trade up. But the volume was really low. And that just kind of shows a lot of consolidation. But we did get more movement towards the end of the day, as you guys could see there. So those are the stocks that I'm watching this week. Don't forget to join the Discord if you guys haven't. Also the Premium Discord if you'd like callouts from me, Moz, and Wolf. As of now, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe on this video as it helps the channel greatly. And it's something I'm really passionate about and I love growing with the community and I love teaching you guys what I know and what I use to trade and get better. So I really appreciate that. And I appreciate all the support, the Patreon support. There's also links below for free stocks too. So make sure to check those out. But that's going to be it for me today. And I hope you guys have a great trading week. And we'll get back in touch with some nightly watch lists this week. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.